Hey there folks, today I got another battle from my Day of Doom, that's that day that I had a while back where every battle I had just nothing seemed to go right. Anyway, my opponent here is Dark Spine Sonic Zero One. it's a UU battle, we met through the Smog on Wi-Fi Battle Finder. Uh, bear in mind this battle happened before the tier update, so before uh, July 1st and before Mew went back to OU. Uh, I'm not really going to miss Mew too much because I have a Yuxi that plays almost the exact same role, so I mean... You lose a little bit of speed, you lose a little bit of other stuff, easy recovery, but all in all, it's not really that big of a loss. Anyway, Mew gets put to sleep uh, first turn by my opponent's uh, uh, Roserade, so at least I know it's not a Spikes Roserade. I get the first turn Wake Up, which is super nice. I get off of my Stealth Rocks. I do have Psychic. I could have gone for the Psychic, but Roserades tend to be pretty bulky anyway, and I just felt that based on his team, uh, rocks would help me out more than anything else, especially considering he's got, what, three Pokemon that are weak to it? Uh, so anyway, gonna withdraw here, uh, leave Mew as Sleep Fodder. Uh, Hugabug's not gonna like being poisoned, but it's a pretty offensive Pokemon anyway, so it's only, and it's only poisoned, not badly poisoned, um, so I'm hoping that it shouldn't be that big of a deal because I should be able to switch, uh, you know, I'll be switching it in and out enough that it shouldn't be that huge of a problem. Anyway, sends out Steelix. I was predicting some kind of switch, um, but figured Bug Buzz was the best bet in any case. It's not like anyone's immune to it. So and I, so I'm going to need to switch out here. I do have Energy Ball on this guy, uh, which I will, by the way, I guess be switching out for Giga Drain now with uh, Black and White too. I don't know, Giga Drain? Maybe not. It's hard to decide. There's so many new choices and new options. Anyway, unfortunately that Steelix is there to set up the Stealth Rocks, so he's racking up a bunch of hazards, and I don't have a spinner on this team. I, don't really, I didn't really see the need for a spinner, not too many of my Pokemon are weak to rocks. Anyway, here I go for the Focus Punch, the Unprotected Focus Punch, and as he went for the Dragon Tail, it pays off for me. Look at that health go down. He does survive, and that's rather unfortunate, but that's really okay, uh, because uh, he's not going to survive any other hit that I can possibly do against him. Um, if I were him, I'd be leaving in my Steelix for Death Fodder at that range of health. By the way, I think it's interesting that he has both Steelix and Gigalith, considering that both Pokemon tend to play similar roles. Gigalith is actually interesting because I think it's, it's either R NU or PU, but definitely not a higher tier Pokemon. Um, but, you know, far be it from me to criticize people for using uh, lower tier Pokemon in higher tiers. Uh, I know I take a lot of crap from a lot of you guys for that. Anyway, so, yeah, he left in Steelix to die. Uh, forget his uh, Rotom Frost is now out. I'm gonna switch out. Not gonna want to take a, uh, a Blizzard, uh, which would have been super effective. Anyway, instead he goes for the trick, uh, expecting my switcher, just expecting to be able to cripple my Tangrowth and prevent me from, like, I don't know, uh, sleep powdering effectively. Anyway, Mew is actually... It's, Mew is a pretty good Pokemon for him to have uh, lo locked with a Choice Scarf, considering it's a utility Pokemon, its only attacking move is Psychic, and it has no special attack investment to speak of. Anyway, he's going to go for another Blizzard, uh, going to get me down to half health. I'm taking those hits really well. Um, Mew is not running fully specially defensive, I think it's running... Uh, balanced defenses, uh, but look at how well that takes those hits. Now, as I recall, Yuxi's actually slightly bulkier. It's got better, uh, uh, it's got special, uh, better, uh, special defense and better defense, but lower HP. Anyway, I get a crit there. That's, that's nice. Um, because it looks like, based on that amount of health, that it's going to be dead on arrival, uh, thanks to the fact that I have rocks up. So, his frigate's going to get called back with that Volt Switch, and I'm really okay with losing my Mew. So, he sends out Honchkrow, I had the Switch advantage, I go out into Hugabug, and I make a foolish, foolish error. Of course this thing has Sucker Punch. I could have gone for my own Sucker Punch, and considering I outspeed, it would have screwed him over because he wouldn't have been able to go for the Sucker Punch. Uh, or, I mean, his Sucker Punch would have failed, so... Oh well, I lose my Hugabug. Foolish me. I got into my Arcanine, who has extreme speed, which is priority 2, so that means that I can hit this thing uh, and not have to worry about Sucker Punch, which is great considering it did get that Moxie boost. So go for the extreme speed, it is banded, I am not seeing him surviving, and indeed he does not survive. Unfortunately, he has plenty of things to uh, tank that hit. Uh, Rotom, not one of those Pokemon, uh, but as I said, it's dead on arrival, uh, so not that big of a deal. Chandelure definitely can wall me, um, can't do anything, uh, 
So I'm going to have to switch out. I'm going to go out into my Emporion, and it's going to give me a chance to scout out what set he's running. Uh, he goes for the Shadow Ball. Okay, so... Eh, pretty good. I resist that hit. Uh, it pops my Air Balloon. I am going to remove that Air Balloon. I, I'm considering Pattaya now that Pattaya is released. Yeah, it's going to be really fun redoing my teams for Black and White, too. Uh, so here I go for the agility. Really, I should have just gone for two Ice Beams, or even Scald or something. Uh, I mean, the switch out was obvious, but unfortunately I'm not going to be able to KO. Well, okay, so agility made sense because I would have, um, he would have outsped me anyway. So Sleep Powder is going to put me to sleep. Unfortunately, I did lose my Sleep Powder now that Mew is uh, dead. I was like, oh, he broke Sleep Powder. No, he definitely did not. Don't think I can take a Leaf Storm. I really don't. Uh, oh well. Tux, you did a pretty admirable job. Just slightly shy of that KO. Maybe I should just put a left o uh, Life Orb on it. Uh, that would have delivered me the KO. Oh well. Uh, Blake is back out. Do not want to go for, uh, do not want to go for the Extreme Speed. Do not want to go for the, uh, f Flare Blitz, considering that Chandelure screws me over either way, and he's down to practically no HP. I go for the Wild Charge, knowing that it hits everyone on his team. So I take out that Roserade, and now, uh, I, I can't switch out again. So he goes out into Gigalith. Okay, so Gigalith isn't going to care about a Wild Charge, but... It'll do some damage. I mean, some damage is better than none. And I'm not really fearing this Gigalith too much. Uh, so here he goes for the Earthquake. Now, uh, now i got to consider who to send out next. I have two choices, Tangrowth or uh, Golurk. Uh, both of them are, have super effective moves against this guy, so I figure, eh, just go for Kazulu. Kazulu is a good option because it has a Regenerator. Unfortunately, I was not expecting the normal gem boosted explosion. Holy crap, what an idiot I am. Of course he has a normal gem boosted explosion. And his Chandelure is now going to be able to KO my Golurk with a Shadow Ball. Had I done it the other way, he wouldn't have been able to explode. I actually probably would have been able to take him out with an Earthquake. Had he switched, uh, his Chandelure wouldn't have enjoyed taking that Earthquake. So, yeah, I, this battle would have gone a lot differently, and it might have actually won. Um, but, I mean, it really is based on whether... Uh, my Golurk could survive a an overheat or whatever move he had. But oh well, that is the end of the battle. Good game, um, opponent, uh, comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge.